in a single day, which is very crazy. Uh, no Japanese teams in uh, this winner's finals, which is really impressive. It goes to show how North America takes teams very seriously here. But I have to say, uh, we saw Dark Wizzy kind of get blown up on mainstream a little bit earlier. Yeah. And then being able to bring it all the way back into winner's finals with doubles, this is where he shines the most. That's it, right? And you know what? You can't have the best of both worlds. Unfortunately, we're not Hannah Montana, but we can be Miley Cyrus tonight. Wizzy doing phenomenally well in the top four of doubles. Like you said, his specialty. And what I love about his play in doubles, specifically Lyric, is the way that he is so defensive and then blows up aggressively once he gets that in. And out plays the same way. And that's why they're cornering the opponents right now. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the things about doubles is that it's a chaotic format at the end of the day. It really takes that time and patience. I mean, Mute is just going to get thrown off. I think the thing about doubles, too, is that you could take two good singles players and put them together and not have a good doubles team, yep. right? It takes a lot of time, patience, and practice, and respect for your partner as well, and really know how they play in order to get a good doubles pairing going, like the beautiful handoff from the yellow team. Fantastic. Chase aware of what Palutena can do in doubles. She blasts off to the blast zone, but that up smash rarely misses, right? Cover so horizontally, such a long-lasting hitbox forever and always. Combo into that death when needed. And here comes Mutes, right? The heavy hitter. Gonna make a lot of damage really quick. But Quizzy hanging on to the edge of glory as that third stock and the damage keeps on racking. But yo, red team finding their mark, controlling that stage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we gotta talk about the Canadian threat on the board too. We gotta oh. talk about Ouch playing extremely well, right? I think you were talking about this a little bit earlier, how Wizzy is kind of on the ground and then Ouch is the one who's patrolling the sky. And that's really what's working out really well for their team. But we're going into the 1v1s right now. And I like how passive Wizzy is waiting, recognizing, you know what, I'm in the corner, but I'm the stock tank in this pairing. I need to be able to stay alive as much as possible, but Ouch still taking the sky. And it will be the yellow team that eventually does call that out. Oh yeah, finally. I mean, he's staying so long. Again, Wizzy, that defensive play, that's what he's known for, but Ouch! Fighting right back, making sure the wolf is scratching and making a mark of his own as we're now here down to the last two stuck. I mean, pretty even considering if you just have few days, hold on a little bit longer and the damage can kind of rack up onto Wizzy. Yeah, absolutely. The problem is, though, I want to see what we're able to do off the throw, right? And that's that's a key part about doubles is you always have to be ready for the pass off. You always have right. to be ready for the throw. But still, though, it's getting into that point. It will be out finding the corkscrew all the way up. And now it's yellow team who could be on stock. The Wolf Flash is going to hit Wizzy, but Wizzy once again playing the defensive mode, just getting out of the scramble. I love the synergy between the red team right now. The way that, like you said before, their characters kind of have very quick and long lasting hitboxes. So it's very easy for them to react and kind of combo and play this Pong kind of style. And the chase is not helping with adding more damage <laughs> with the large Palutena hitboxes. And unfortunately, it's not going out for the yellow team, but it's not too late. I think, I feel like. Peach makes a lot of damage really quick. Palutena takes those kills. You just gotta get that opportunity, but it's getting harder as the percent continues to rise. You can tell that the yellow team is trying to think their way out of this too, right? They're kind of pushing themselves Ooh, into the corner, no. but granted, well, yes, good idea to go off and give Mario with a character like Palutena who could do that with ease. Uh, the problem is when you lose your stock, it's not gonna help as much. There's Mr. Saturn though, who's going to make a quick entrance and exit. And now, honestly, this is not impossible for Mew. We know what he's capable of with a little bit of a forward air to go along with, but the thing is, uh, you have a very healthy Wizzy waiting in the wings as well. That's it, you got you don't even have to take care of Wiz. You won't get that chance. Just closing it down is ouch. And that is kind of his specialty. Right. You're going to attack his shield. Doesn't matter if you're at 0% or 100. He's going to put that up smash out to tell you, hey, man, I'm Wolf. Respect it. Yeah, absolutely. Really good stuff from Red Team. But I think the moment that both Chase and Mutes put themselves into the corner, it was like, hold on. All right. Now we're kind of like losing our momentum a little bit. Let's just think this one through. Uh, we definitely saw a little bit of a change in tide, especially with how quickly the stocks weren't falling off at that point. We're going to Hollow Bastion at this point. So I want to be able to see, and my whole rant with Hollow Bastion is always, you got to be able to hold that center platform really well. And I think if it's anything that both Peach and Palutena do, it's just that. They have the zoning tools to do it. I agree with you completely, Eric. I think you said it best, Hollow Bastion smaller and when yes. you got that center platform you got to know how to use it and unfortunately i feel like that might benefit the red team because again they're playing so defensively so if you're already on a small stage and you're having characters of like hey come to me you're just giving them a big christmas present right but hey beauties and chase is here and i'm not so let's see if we can <laughs> learn something from them and see if how this stage is going to kind of combat 
big opening we had in the last one. Already better, the 63 on Wizzy. I feel like they couldn't even get Wizzy in the first place. And, but as I'm saying that, Chase blocking that amazing pass on the other side. Okay. Yes. Things are working out really well, but I want to call out kind of the positioning that we were talking about a little bit before. You could see Mute kind of going up and down in between the platform. We're trying to see who is going to be able to control that, and I feel like both players have really taken their turns. Beautiful pass off, fair to fair for the yellow team. But now you can see Wizzy just trying to get involved, saying, hey, don't leave me out. Uh, we're seeing like the lineup for the back throw into the back air. We're just like barely missing it by a pixel. Explosive Flame not going to do much yet, but honestly, I have to say, uh, I feel like yellow team is really kind of getting caught in their own vortex a couple times over. Yes, I, it's, I feel like it's just it's just benefiting Red Team over right. and over. And Ouch, I feel like out of all the players we're watching right now, Lyric, Ouch is standing out to me so well. The way he's using those flaws to say, get off, I'm cleaning the house. Come back later, <laughs> later, okay? Only here at my party at the moment, okay? And there we go, a perfect setup. Once again, off stage. He just hasn't moved at all. Ouch has been centered the entire time, even in disadvantage as well. I love the way that Wizzy actually waits before just absolutely throwing himself in and saying, hey, wait, don't like get this edge guard on my partner. Having like full trust in the partner that Ouch is going to be able to get out, but the up smash is going to hit Ouch. Getting in the big <laughs> Ouch there. And now it is Wizzy going to kind of go back on the defensive side. I like how Chase is trying to find the snare in, but Muse really just kind of getting caught up in a little bit of the scramble here. I mean, Ouch not letting up the pressure. Yeah. Here we go, continuing once again. Like you said, I feel like, again, this defense, and we're going to keep talking about it, guys, in the yeah. chat, because it's important to know that in doubles, it might be very chaotic. But look at that, understanding the discipline of, hey, if you're attacking, I'm going to keep shielding and utilizing that against your opponent and creating this 2v1 situation, making this beautiful sandwich that you could call dinner, just comes out to play and fill that hole, that appetite, definitely closing in. The way that this damage is being racked up here, especially on Chase, but edge guard opportunity on the side of Chase. Yeah, that's the problem, right? Uh, oh, oh, no, my like second time, too. Yeah, you hate to see that. Uh, that's the problem with Mario's recovery. It can be very linear, especially if you're going from below. And for Palutena, that was kind of the B&B &B day one. Get your opponent off the side and then drop zone back air. Figure out the rest as it goes. But I love the way that Chase actually just allowed for Ouch to get back up and actually tried to utilize Nair to get both players on red team to get going. But it looks like at this point, we're seeing a little bit more of a scramble. We're seeing more of the 1v1 points. But here comes Ouch to help, at least with a moment. Moment, but Wizzy trying to get something started, but Mute covering that center stage very well, like we talked about. Yeah. And finally, look, like you were saying, more defense, you get that answer. And I feel like Mute is always that kind of player who likes to learn, right? He might yeah. take a few games, but he adapts so well if given the opportunity. But when you keep jumping like that, that's the opportunity for Wizzy to just continue the damage that he needs to get. But okay, using the flood, I love it. And your friend, my gosh, Ouch is always there for you. No matter when, no matter when, you call me. I'm there for you, brother. Oh! oh up smash. Yeah, nice coverage by Wizzy here. See what's gonna happen. Trying to get something cute on the handoff, but I think Ouch is just going to <laughs> hit the Same. nair. Yeah, Chase doesn't want to deal with it. I think that's also the thing with doubles too, especially with this bracket that has gone on quite literally all day. You want to keep the stamina there. Is it really worth it to try and 2v1 two very healthy players? I believe one of them even had a stock left. If three stocks to one, let's just go next game. Let's just play a little bit better. But to see where we're gonna go next, it is going to be back to Pokemon Stadium too, but Ouch and Dark Wizzy two Oh, right. I love the way that you brought up the stamina lyric because yeah. that's something so important to talk about on Friday specifically. Yeah. Both, I mean, if not all of these guys are not only in ultimate doubles, but singles was today. There's <laughs> Wii U. I know some of them are playing there. You got Brawl, you got 64, you got yeah. Melee. Everything is today. These guys have not stopped. You want a snack, you want to eat. I hope you're hydrating because that's all you're getting. So starting on Pokemon Stadium 2, we see the switch over. Chase's Steve is going to come out to play here. Definitely does not surprise me, right? Uh -huh. if, it, if it's not working, let's just go somewhere else. And let's just go up the tier list, why don't we? <laughs> but you, I need a little help, bro. Yeah, let's just go up the tier list. <laughs> but Let me mind my way out. Speaking of help, I mean, you needed help for a quick moment here. And that's the thing about Steve and doubles. Well, yes, like you can absolutely just change the, the map to be whatever you want it to be. Sometimes I feel like Steve isn't necessarily the best partner. What can you say about that as a double specialist here? Yeah, I mean, my static partner is a Steve, there right? And it really comes down to Steve is a fantastic main. Not so much a secondary, but Chase is such a fantastic player and is so smart and is so talented that he could use Steve and whatever character that he desires. But it's not going to help you when you're versus someone like 
Ouch, who has played so many Steves and is actually okay with it. You know, that's another thing is you might have that backup, oh. but how familiar are you in a matchup against someone who is even more familiar with that matchup, right? You have to adapt to that as well, and that's just going to contest against you. On the other end, though, Lyric, I feel like Mutex is playing a lot better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, Chase is kind of getting like stuck in like choice paralysis, right? And this was kind of like what I was alluding to a little bit earlier, right? I feel like uh, Chase is really kind of just getting thrown around, really just kind of combo food. And while, yes, Mute is playing better, it is doubles, though. And we have to look at the fact that Chase is already down so much. Oh. The F smash, though, is going to at least take out his first stock. But we're back to the 1v1s at this moment, looking like Wizzy a little bit more comfortable. Accidental friendly fire there. So it's going to force Wizzy to ledge. But once again, the defensive king, Dark Wizzy himself, not going to go in without knowing it's safe and even picking up the up smash there. That's it. And I feel like it doesn't help that Chase is definitely getting it in his head. Like, yeah. you see the way every time he's getting hit, he's being very flustered. He's not really taking any hits that he shouldn't be getting. He's rolling. He's kind of anticipating instead of reacting, right? And that's when you know that stamina is out. And you just might call it in. And there you go. See him nod. He's taking that stock already. And now, even though Muse hasn't lost the stock, he's now down to his last. And he just kind of sucked the life out of him by continuing to against Chase, someone who's just throwing out options, where Steve in doubles is so effective at just mining, staying back, getting diamond, and then going in. He hasn't done that at all. He's playing Steve in a very Palutena end style. Yeah, honestly, for the moment, I was kind of expecting the red team to kind of shift their focus away from Chase and just start focusing on Mute. Uh, but honestly, what a reversal Whoa, right okay. now coming out from Yellow Team. Was not expecting it at all. And I think now, uh, let, let Chase kind of go off and do what he wants to, right? Getting this stock off of Mute Ace, which has been so durable. I mean, like we said, we had the share stock here. So this stock has been on Mute basically the entire game so far. You just have to find this up smash. And speaking of up smash, we'll do the up tilt that takes. Oh my gosh, almost a spike opportunity from Ouch, but here comes Chase. This is what I wanted him to do since the beginning of the match. Stay back, make your mind, feel comfortable, and then get the damage and get out. That is your job in doubles as Steve. You are the best character in this game to so utilize what makes you the best character in the game against your opponent. There it is. We're back into it. Get off of me. You know Mario's not going to approach, but Ouch sure is. Yeah, absolutely right. Beautifully weaving the needle there. And it will just be out finding the aerial. But now, this is much more doable for, for Mute here yes. uh, compared than last game, right? I mean, Peach definitely has a couple of tools that can, you know, keep both players occupied at the same time. But the problem Ew! is, yeah, no, Wizzy was starting to bug out there. Going oh for gosh! the back throw up smash. It's not going to be enough just yet. Need one more of those. I like how Ouch giving Wizzy a little bit more rage to do so. There is the back air, and now Mute has to recover. The beautiful pickup from Wizzy. Wiz yeah. I'm telling you, man, this is Wizzy's format. Like, Wizzy is just you, a double He's a double K. And it is going to be a 3 0 for Dark Wizzy and Ouch, who will be going to Winner's Side Grants. My goodness, what a great showing from the red team. It feels so good to see. Mario and Wolf, right, yeah. in Grand. In today's meta, that looks that's nearly impossible, and it happens, and that's just what shows, right? You do your homework, you practice, you can take down anybody, right? It just yeah. shows that Japan's been doing it for so long. So it takes some notes out of them and our friends here in Grand Finals. Congratulations, because my gosh, they played perfect. I yep. think that was perfect. If I were to show a definition of how to play doubles, yeah. that was how to play doubles. Yeah, it was really good. I, I think the Steve switch was a good idea, but yes. my philosophy, always in a best of five, if you're really going to try the secondary, I always like to try the secondary game number two. Yes, Like It yes. gives yourself a little bit more time because we definitely saw a very flustered chase going in, and then, honestly, ouch, was really the one who really took care of, of Chase on the other side of the stage, said, you know what, I don't yeah. really care if you're playing Steve. He definitely uh, took advantage of the fact that he was in his head and just was like, you're holding so in now, always. so I'm gonna. Yeah. yeah. He, he also okay. only started to play the Steve doubles meta at the very end, yeah. right? At the We saw at the last stock, he was holding back, making blocks, okay. And then he was getting the damage, and unfortunately right. he just started way too late when he was at like 120, so. Yeah. Absolutely. Really good stuff, though, from, from Ouch and Dark Wizzy, the team of Canada and United States. Love to see it. Coming together. Like Canada and United We're States. We're friends, right man. Here. We're friends. That's just this what is it perfect. is. We got you. We're allies. <laughs>